So Codebreak 100 is a, a phase two registration or international trial uh, looking at soto Rasib, the first-in-class KRAS G12C inhibitor in patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancers harboring the KRAS G12C mutation. This is a study uh, where we enrolled 126 patients across 11 countries and uh, three continents, uh, North America, Europe, and Asia Pacific. Most patients uh, ha has uh, progressed on uh, a platinum uh, chemotherapy uh, doublet, as well as PD-1, PD-L1 uh, immunotherapy. So more than 80% of patients, 81% of patients have progressed on both. Uh, and this is in a uh, treatment refractory setting. Uh, heavy, most patients uh, were former or current smokers, that's 92.9%, and the median age was 63.5 years. In the uh, primary analysis, we, we saw a confirmed overall response rate of 37.1%. That included three com uh, complete responses as well as 43 partial responses. We saw a median percent tumor shrinkage of 60%. And 81% of patients had any magnitude of tumor shrinkage, so uh, suggesting that the responses were fairly deep. We also saw uh, rapid responses in these patients where 72% uh, of responders uh, had a, uh, a response, uh, com a partial response uh, by the week six scan. So the uh, median time to objective response was 1.4 months, a very short time to uh, an objective response. We also saw durability of response with the median duration of response being 10 months and 43% of respondents still continue uh, to respond at the data cutoff last month, December 2020. So this is uh, a more longitudinal follow-up and encouraging data suggesting durability of response with a median progression-free survival of 6.8 months, which is consistent with what was published in the uh, phase one trial in the New England Journal uh, uh, September last year. The safety data uh, also uh, were encouraging. There were no treatment-related deaths. Uh, most toxicities were low-grade, grade one and or two, uh, primarily gastrointestinal, diarrhea, nausea, elevated liver enzymes, things that we knew about from the phase one trial. The uh, grade three toxicity occurred at about 19.8%, but most of them were uh, treatable, reversible with supportive measures. And 22.2% uh, of patients needed a dose modification due to toxicity, and 7.1% had uh, treatment discontinuation uh, with toxicity. Uh, but uh, again, mostly were uh, manageable. We also did an exploratory biomarker analysis that uh, showed sotorasib responses across a, a, a wide range of pd one expression subgroups, ranging from pd one negative to uh, uh, PDL1 uh, positive and PDL1 high, more than 50%. And we saw responses in the, all of those groups, as well as subgroups of commutational uh, profiling, including STK11 and KEEP1 mutants and wild type. We also looked at P53 and we saw responses across all of those subgroups. Interestingly, there were some numerical differences su suggesting a higher response rate in those STK11 mutants and keep one wild type, but those numerical differences were not statistically significant with overlapping confidence intervals. So this observation requires further study. Uh, but I can say now that it's encouraging to see that responses were observed across all molecular subgroups. So in conclusion, this was a, uh, a, a phase two registration study, which had more than double the uh, number of patients uh, compared to the phase one. It confirmed and validated the, the findings uh, in phase one that this is an active drug and the results are clinically meaningful in a population of patients uh, that are treatment refractory uh, uh, with unmet medical need. So this, uh, the safety data was, was also acceptable. 
uh, and we saw some uh, tumor responses across molecular subgroups. The breakthrough therapy designation was granted by the United States FDA uh, and regulatory filings have been submitted to the FDA as well as the EMA. Uh, there's discussion with other uh, regulatory agencies in other countries, in Asia, uh, in, in Australia, Canada, Latin America, and we hope uh, uh, that we can uh, move forward to bring this new medicine uh, to patients as quick as possible. The confirmatory phase three study, CODEBREAK 200, is still ongoing. That's looking at uh, sotorasib versus second-line docetaxel. Uh, to, uh, to see a, a, a significant difference uh, against the standard of care. So all in all, I'm uh, very uh, encouraged by the results and I think this is a collaborative effort, uh, getting the world together uh, to, to fight cancer and crack KRAS. And I think uh, a lot of credit goes to uh, patients and their families for uh, uh, putting up the fight as well as uh, all the investigators and clinical staff, Amgen, the sponsor. Uh, so uh, uh, really, really happy about the results overall.